Things are about to look very different in 2024 as two key leaders in the world of European golf, Martin Slumbers of the RNA and Keith Pelley of DP World Tour, just announced that they will be departing their leadership roles, which critically impact the professional game in Europe. This news could not have come at a more sensitive period, especially with the turmoil currently unfolding in the world of golf with the whole live ordeal. It makes one wonder if their departure had something to do with the negotiations ongoing with Saudi Arabia's backed league, and if Jay Monahan of the PGA Tour would be the next in announcing his departure. This is the Golf Caddy, where we take you inside the ropes into the world of professional golf from a former caddy himself. So, the question is, why are the two executives leaving simultaneously, especially with things so intense? Is it due to live? Well, let's go through this and truly unpack the reasons they're leaving their respective roles. On January 10th, Martin Slumbers, the CEO of the RNA, the organization in charge of rulemaking for golf outside of the United States in Mexico, announced that he would be stepping down from his role later this year. The news came as a shock to the organization and golf at large, as sources close to him say he hadn't shown any signs. And when he was asked why, the 63-year-old responded that it was just time for him to leave. It has been a privilege to serve golf at the highest level. It is a role that I have been proud to carry out on behalf of the RNA's employees, the members of the Royal and Ancient Golf Club, and all our global partners. In any career, there is a time to allow the next generation to have its turn. I am grateful to have had the honor for nearly a decade to have been the custodian of all that the RNA and the game of golf more broadly represents. Slumbers took over the Wheel of Power from Peter Dawson in 2015, and in the last nine years, he has been able to achieve so much. Much. The Englishman had no background in golf administration, rather in banking, but he was able to oversee significant rule changes that were instituted along with the United States Golf Association, USGA. An example of such is the rule regarding the rollback of the golf ball, which is set to occur in 2028. He also made sustainability both of the golf courses and the sport in general regarding financial terms his major focus. His achievements made him highly regarded. When many were still trying to let the thought of slumbers leaving sink in, a few hours later, Keith Pelley made his announcement. The chief executive of the DP World Tour, formerly known as the European Tour, revealed that he was leaving his role in order to pursue a role in his home country of Canada. Based on his announcement, he will become the president and chief executive of Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, which owns the NHL's Toronto Maple Leafs, NBA's Toronto Raptors, and the MLS side of Toronto FC. It has been an incredible honor to be the chief executive of this wonderful institution for the past eight and a half years. This role with the MLSC and the chance to be involved with my hometown sports teams in Toronto was the one opportunity that I simply could not resist. Pelly's tenure has also been a success. Some of his his notable achievements are the successful guiding of the organization through the COVID pandemic and the strategic alliance signed with the PGA Tour in November 2020. Although some of his moves have been criticized, like giving PGA Tour cards to the top 10 players, but his achievements cannot be undermined. Upon receiving the news about both executive officers, many Tour players couldn't hide their disappointment, but most of them wished it would come a bit later. The professional golfer Rory mentioned that he hopes Slumbers will remain a prominent figure in golf. Martin has done a lot of good things for the game and started a lot of good initiatives. He clearly feels deeply about the game. I'm not sure what the average tenure is in that position, but nine years seems like a good stint. Hopefully he stays involved in the game, even if not as deeply involved as he has been. McElroy also had some warm words to say about Pelly. The journey the European Tour has been on for the last five or six years has been navigated really well by Keith. He played it really well. He was able to see the bigger picture. Keith is a smart guy. He's been great in that sense. Tommy Fleetwood also had good things to say about Martin Slumbers. Martin has been great. It's a big role and there have been some big decisions made, whether it be with equipment or where the tours go next, but we can all be very grateful for the service he has put in. While Thomas Bjorn was very generous with his praise of Keith Pelly, Keith's greatest period of charge was probably COVID. I saw him at his absolute best then. How he managed the tour, the finances of the tour, and the staff. He was amazing in that period. A real leader. If he had not been there, I don't think there would have been a tour. So why are they really leaving? 
After they announced their departure, speculations began going round about the true reason for their departures. Many golf enthusiasts are certain that the negotiations with Liv had something to do with it. Both men have played key roles in promoting the acceptance of Saudi Arabia's golf league. In the 2023 Summers Open at Royal Liverpool, Martin Slumbers took a big step in welcoming the Saudis. He refused to rule out commercial partnerships between the RNA and the Saudis. Then he held several meetings with Yasser al Ramayan, the governor of the PIF, the Saudi-based organization backing Liv, to talk about possible projects they could collaborate on. To also show that they were on good terms, Slumbers and Al Ramayan were partners during the autumn's Dunhill Lynx Championships. And as for Kelly, his goal to see a more global golf had him pushing for the acceptance of the Saudi back league. His belief that a key to growth is globality made him initially a victim of severe criticism. But as soon as people saw through his eyes, he was less criticized. And contrary to people's belief, he and Slumbers' departure might have nothing to do with Liv, especially with the fact that they're still staying on to see the negotiations through. Kelly has shared that his reason for staying till April is to make sure the negotiations go through seamlessly. The Canadian mentions that he believes the negotiations will be completed in three months, and that's the exact period he'll remain with the tour. We hope to come to a conclusion, and moving that forward is something that is going to be my prime primary focus over the next three months. I'm definitely staying until April, and I've told the PGA Tour and representatives from PIF that that is my priority. I still believe it. That is the reason we entered into the framework agreement, and we need to move it forward. Unifying the game is something that I think we all want. If it happens, it would be very gratifying, especially to me. Martin Slumbers is also not leaving till late 2024, so it's evident that he is also hoping to see things through before retiring from his role. However, there's still the concern that a hidden part of the agreement is the removal of key people in power. Remember, sometime in 2023, after the announcement of the framework agreement, it was mentioned that the PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan might have to step down after the deal is finalized. Although it was chalked up as a rumor, this new development with the CEOs of DP Tour and RNA have us thinking otherwise. If Monahan also announces his departure in the coming days, then we can be certain it's no coincidence. Currently, the RNA is fervently searching for a replacement for Martin Slumbers before he finally takes his leave. But at the DP Tour, Keith Pelly isn't going to leave them high and dry. His deputy, Guy Kinnings, has been receiving training on what being a CEO entails, and he'll be ready to take the mantle of power. Guy Kinnings has been a key figure in European golf since he joined the Tour in 2018. He was previously the head of IMG's Global Golf Vision, so he'll be the perfect replacement for Pelly. Since the framework agreement between the PGA, DP, DP and PIF was announced in June, a lot of drama has unfolded. As of December 2023, it seemed the negotiations had hit a deadlock, but with Pelly's recent revelation, there's a possibility things are back on track, and there might be room for optimism. However, we can't help but worry that the agreement would come with some hidden clauses that would change the world of golf as we know it forever. So what do you think? Do you think Slumbers and Pelly's simultaneous departure is a mere coincidence? Or do you think there's something more? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.